What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is another video of Arsenal news and this video is about as you can see on the screen It's about the transfers and look what is there on the radar Let me read it for you. Arsenal transfer news live has Robert Firmino signed for Gunners <gasps> Ravio boost the 25 million deal possible and Thomas Lemar wanted so that's the headline. So let's just see what's in it. And first of all, why would Firmino want to join Arsenal? I mean, he's about to win the league this season, for God's sake. Well, let's, let me work that one out. Okay, anyways, moving on. <coughs> the first of all, Samuel Umtiti, the Barcelona defender, watched Arsenal beat Manchester United on New Year's Day, New Year's Day at the Emirates. <laughs> Let me just read it for you. He shared a picture on Instagram of the game taken from an executive box in the North London Stadium. Arsenal have previously been linked with Umtiti and Mikel Arita is known to want to add two central defenders, central defenders to his squad this month. <coughs> Excuse me. But the Daily Mail say Umtiti is unlikely to join Gunners as he focuses on challenging for La Liga and Champions League with Barcelona. So basically... Umtiti was in the executive box when we played against Manchester just yesterday and uh, he shared the picture of that view on his Instagram. Now many of you must have seen it, those who haven't, let me show it for you. So this is the picture as you can see, uh, let me just zoom it out for you, sorry zoom in for you. So this is the picture, you can see Emirates Stadium, Arsenal FC Stadium. So that's the picture which he published on his Instagram. I think it's a story. It's not really a post as such. Let me read it for you. Barcelona star Umtiti has taken, on, in, taken to Instagram to share with his followers that he is in attendance for Arsenal's mammoth Premier League clash versus with Manchester United at the MS this evening. Umtiti let fans know that he was the he was he was the game. He was the game? He was at the game. Who is the writer of this post? who was at the game by uploading a picture from inside the Emirates Stadium to his Instagram story. While some Arsenal fans may get excited over Titi's presence at the Emirates, it's likely that the defender is just here to support friend Alexander Lacazette, you know, both are French. The pair were close during their time at Lyon. So basically, this is the picture which he, he published on his Instagram story when we played against Manchester United. <coughs> now, <clears throat> himself has not come up and said anything but the Daily Mirror sorry Daily Mail and other reporters or other you know transport experts are saying that he is unlikely to sign for Arsenal even though we are looking we are publicly looking for centre defenders quality centre defenders to enhance to enhance our squad people are saying that he might not join Arsenal because he wants to say at Manchester uh, Barcelona and win this and win that but I, see, I, I don't really follow La Liga that much. So you guys let me know. Is he even getting enough time in Barcelona? I really don't think so. So why would you want to waste your career's important years of your short footballing career wasting on the bench, especially when you are a World Cup winner? Well, seriously. I mean, if you come to Arsenal, oh, you're going to be on... You're, you're going to be probably, probably, most in probably, the first name on the team, on the, on the team sheet. Period. Most of the time, like minimum 50 to 60 percent of the time, you will be playing the game, or at least you will be sub getting substituted in. Uh, substituted in. So why would you not sign him? Yeah, it's struggling. Uh, it's a struggling player for Arsenal. But come on, you can't get the game period there. You know what do you want? You have already won the World Cup, so internationally you don't really have anything more to prove other than winning the Euro. But come on, let's. I mean, if I uh, if this happens. I don't know whether I should be buzzing or not because he is, he was <coughs> class, he was a decent, decent uh, defender when he was at Lyon, but when he went to Barcelona, it turned very sour for him, you know, he didn't really get his form right, he was getting injured every now and then, he was not, even, he is not even getting enough game time, I don't know the current situation, but at least before he was not getting enough game time with Barcelona, so, is he up to the par? Is he any better than Socrates? Is he any better than um, uh, who else? <coughs> David Luiz? Listen, just because you're a World Cup winner doesn't mean you are 
top-notch defender or top-notch player. I mean, we have many players in uh, former and current who are World Cup winners, but we know how they are. I don't want to take any names. But that's what I, that's what I mean. But on the flip side of it, just because he went to Barcelona and everything went so sh basically shit for him, it doesn't mean he's bad either. Because many times people go to a transfer, go get transferred to a club, hoping for a better future, but things don't pan out very well for them. Things don't work out very well. Maybe because something goes on the pitch, or in the training, or maybe something in the private life, personal life. Who knows? But overall, it doesn't work out well. <clears throat> but that doesn't indicate that the player is not good enough. So it's it's both way. It it can make sense in either ways. So uh, let me know what you guys will. Uh, will, will you be happy if you get um, um Teti at Arsenal? Will you even help? But first of all, forget about us being happy or not. But do you even think that he will improve our defense? He will give enough options, but will he improve? Who knows? Time will tell. Moving on. Atletico Madrid are trying to sell Thomas Lima in January, and Arsenal have been named a possible destination. We all are looking for midfielders as well because even if, let's say, even if Jaffa doesn't leave the club, I would still like to have Thomas Lima at the club personally. That's just my opinion. The Gunners are previous, uh, have previously been linked with Lima, yes, and he is a target this time around as Mikel Arteta wanted to add a midfielder to his squad this month. Atleti have already begun working with agents to secure the 24-year-old uh, move away from Madrid. Marca, I think it's a newspaper there, claim, though they have set a high asking price which could scupper a switch to Arsenal. Tottenham have also been linked with Thor Lima recently. Thomas Lima, he is kind of, he does, he's like, a, he's some sort of, a num, he's number eight, uh, kind of a player, almost like uh, Ramsey. Listen, Ramsey was decent. We appreciated him when he left the club. And since then, we haven't really replaced Ramsey, the box-to-box -box midfielder. <coughs> Lema can do that job, in my opinion. If you sign him, again, one more option in our bench. Even if Jaka, Jaka has improved his form recently, but even if he leaves, because it's a 50-50, whether he stays, he leaves. Even if he leaves or even he doesn't leave, I would rather like to have an addition to the squad. So I will be personally happy. Let me know what you guys think about this. Is there any truth behind it? We will be able to get it or no? Let me know. Then the Pierre Obama uh, has reaffirmed his commitment to Arsenal upon the opening of the January transfer window. Now we all know that in the recent times, for some time now, that Arsenal uh, and Obama and Lacazette actually, but in this post, oh, let's talk about Obama. Obama has been linked with Barcelona and Real Madrid, and even to a certain point, he even was linked with Pier or the PSG at a point. So, you know, we fans, some of the fans, Arsenal fans, might get, you know, disturbed with this news. Is, it, uh, is there any truth behind it? Because, listen, we have only, he has only 18 months under his contract with Arsenal, with us, and he hasn't really re-signed his uh, contract. He, he hasn't even started negotiation of the new contract because he's basically he's just staying, staying back, looking at what's going on, what's the possibility with the club, and then he will decide his future. Decide his future. But in this post, Obama was linked with leaving the Gunners during Unai Emery's reign as manager, though rumors have died down since Mikel Arena took charge. And he told French outlet RMC Sport that leaving North London this month, this month, is not on the agenda. Means he will leave at a point if he thinks, maybe in the summer, if he thinks, okay, things are going to become uh, turning more and more shitty, let me leave. He might leave, who knows. Uh, the English press likes to talk a lot. <laughs> now, we all know how cheeky English press is, said Obama Yang after the New Year's Day defeat of Manchester United. For now, I'm here. I'm 100% here. So basically, he himself has said, you know what, there's no truth behind me leaving the club. I'm here. I'm 100% committed. He loves the fans. Fans love him. And you know what, this kind of rumors always come around now every now and then. But when the player himself comes ahead and says, I am not going anywhere, especially uh, the player like Waman, who has a certain aspect of his character, whether we don't think he, I don't think he will deceive with his, his comments or no, he will be honest, whatever it is. So I don't think he's going anywhere. So <coughs> all the Gunners were thinking he might leave. Chill. I will say chill. I don't think he's going to leave anywhere. Then Rob, has Robert Firmino signed for Arsenal? 
This is what Tony Casarino said to himself when watching us. Oh, fuck off, man. I thought for a moment, for a weird moment, I thought Firmino is actually going to sign for Arsenal. I mean, I know. Why would he sign for Arsenal when he's going to lift the trophy, league trophy this season? But, you know, you fans, we are stupid. We are crazy. We get excited about with everything. Let me just read it for you. Dogs put from this idiot. Says, Obama and... But... <coughs> um, Says that uh, has long been critical of Obama and he was certainly certain, suitably, suitably impressed by the forward on New Year's Day. A few weeks ago, I used to word, I used the word disgusting to describe the attitude of Obama during matches, but something, I don't know which matches he was looking at, you fucking dickhead, but something strange happened last night. After 20 minutes, the Arsenal forward chased back and won the ball with the tackle from behind. He has done it for a long, long... He has been doing it for a long, long time, you fucking moron. Why don't you just open your stupid-ass eyes and look at the game in a different way, you fucking idiot? I thought to myself, has Robert for me to sign for Arsenal? Because, oh, you know what? I'm not even interested in reading this bullshit of this idiot of a man. So screw that. Moving on to the next post. Juventus are willing to sell Arsenal target Adrian Rabio this month in if they receive a 25 million B. Now listen, Rabiot again, a Frenchman, he can kind of link with Lacazette I mean, in a much better way. If we sign Umtiti, Rabiot and Lacazette at the center of the spine, it will work class. Um, they want 25 million Juventus. Now come on, we all know how poor Arsenal is. Can we afford 25 million? I mean, we all know how poor Arsenal is. I'm just fucking around. Like, seriously, 25 million, just give the 25 million, get the player, man. Why Arsenal is acting like a small club now? But I don't think he, they, we will ask, uh, act like a small club. If uh, if Adrian is really on the radar, I think we'll go for, especially if it's only for 25 million, I think Arsenal will get Lamar this season. Not Lamar, uh, Rebio this season, if we want him. Because if we can pay 70 million for Pepe and put him on the bench for most of the time, I think we can spend 25 million on Adrian. Let's see the post. The Gunner won't uh, want uh, Rabiot, who has struggled since joining UA last summer, but their initial approach was not bad. However, according to Metro, Juventus have not given the green light to Rabiot's January exit as long as the demands are met, which uh, probably is 25 million. Rabiot has been targeted by Mikel Arteta, who wants to add one midfielder and two center backs to his team this month. So, yeah, so he's also Rabiot, he's also linked with Arsenal. Apparently, Juventus wants 25 million. If you want him, let's go get him. Not a bad, uh, not a bad bunch of midfielders will be hanging afterwards if you sign him and Thomas Lema as well. Plus, remember, next season, uh, who is the loan? Uh, who is the player that we have signed? The young one who have, which who we have loaned out. Oh, fuck, I don't even remember his name. He's playing in the French League, man. Oh, shit. This is embarrassing. Anyways, we, you know who I'm talking about. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, that's the transfer news for this week, I should say. So, we are linked with Adrian. We are linked with Thomas Lemar. We are linked with Umtiti. But uh, whether it will happen or no, only time will tell. But anyway, that's it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about these links which I described in this video. Whether there is any truth behind it, no. Let me know and will you be happy? Whom would you like to see in the Arsenal shirt this month? Uh, yeah, let me know. Comment down below. You can follow me on Twitter or uh, the same name, Brothers World. Until next time, thank you so much for watching and peace.